Today is a day that we will complete page 60. We, the first thing we'll do is put some skin around um, the face. And again, we've, we learned to do skin and it was the first thing we did when we do the nose because it's, it's much, much easier. So in doing so, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to ask you to do your best at putting in a light skin. I am going to erase because when we laid our eyes down on the page, we learned that there are five eye widths across. So we did the side of our head. We did the side of our head. And what I'd like you to do is, and you can do this one of two ways. You can put some lead right here in your booklet. Take paper towel to pick up the lead like this. And then just do a gentle rub. High probability you will pick up some lead in doing so from maybe your eyebrows. Leaving the whites of the eye nice and white. So add some skin so that we're able to put in a nose and ears today with both sets of eyes. The other way that you could do it, so this is a rub with paper towel, which goes quickly and gives nice soft skin. Another possible way to do it would be to render with the side of your pencil in a circular motion because that is also another way to put skin in a face. Sometimes a little bit harder to control, but if you go nice and lightly and in a circular motion, it helps. And take the paper towel and gently rub. leaving the whites of the eyes nice and white because that is what happens with the eyes. And you may wonder, well, why are we going to add the, the nose and the ears? Well, we've already learned how to draw noses and how to draw ears, so I want to show you how it's put together. The first thing we're going to do is the nose. Now, I realize that we have two sets of eyes. Hopefully, you have enough space in here. We will talk about actual placement um, on another day. But underneath your eyes here, what I would like you to do is do a, a a circular. I don't close the top of my circle because I end up erasing it. So a circle here and review the nose is we do an oval here. We fill the oval in with shading. Then with our blender stick, I Soften that oval, and at the same time, I put in the flange, which is the side of the nose, which is just a little darker shade rub, with an eraser then, I'm gonna come up here by the tear ducts. And I'm going to erase, always erasing a bit more than I want. Coming down then. And put in kind of a natural blend. 
oftentimes at the top of the nose. There is a, a slight shine. Reviewing that the nose is best made with shades. Slight skin fold underneath the eyes, sometimes deeper. Younger people, maybe not quite as predominant. Older people, a little bit more deep. And as far as placement of the ears, an ear is basically the length of the eye to the bottom of the nose. And in doing so, we learn that we come in the face. It's like a question mark, and it comes down here. Erasing then the side of the face, and that's the length of an ear. On this side again, from the, the middle of the eye, a backwards question mark, the lobe here, Erasing here. And the ears. Being like puzzle pieces. And shades. Your goal is to get a light, middle, and dark shade. The ear cavity, my dark, my middle here, and often a highlighted, going back in with my eraser, and highlighting there. My other ear, again, my cavity where you can stick your finger in your ear. Simply taking my blender stick and rubbing in that cavity to give me some lead on this blender. Rubbing down. Noticing that my ear is in my face. Putting a white highlight here. And checking to see that my Ear comes down as far as my nose. Looks like here it possibly could come down just a bit farther. And we learned that hair, which is gives us the contrast of the ear and we will learn more about hair in time to come So you see a face begin to develop in front of you. So putting the pieces today, put in skin, put in a nose, put in two ears, 
slightly some contrast to let the ears shine forward. Notice the whites of the eyes are very white. And finish the day out by also adding the skin, the nose, the ears on your second set of eyes. So in completion of page six, a set of eyes, a nose, ears that go from the middle of the eye all the way down to the bottom of the nose, eyelashes, eyebrows, skin.